I want to share with you and run something by you that um, occurred to me recently, and it's called the God Phenomenon in AA. I made this up, so don't think, well, what page is that on? It isn't anywhere. It's just, it's just a way of looking at things. And this is what I think the God Phenomenon is. When we first arrive here, we are confronted with this word on a steady basis. We pick up the steps, and there it is. We open the big book, God on this page, God on that page, God on that page. We go to a discussion meeting, everybody in the room. Well, then God did this and God did this. So you can't escape the word. You can't escape it. This three-letter word is appearing everywhere. And we have different reactions to it. I can't stand it when they say that. It bothers me. It just, it, it, it's just all these things. I said higher power for five years rather than say the word God. And then after five years, I said, you know, you can say God a lot faster than you can say higher power. I said, yeah, you're right. So for pure efficiency reasons, I shifted <laughs> and actually allowed myself to say God, you know, like I was going to be struck dead um, because my old ideas told me, you don't want to be caught dead saying God. Told me to laugh at you. Or I don't remember why, but it was very important. So we have a word that appears all over AA. But if we had an AA dictionary, we could probably have meanings for all the other words in AA. But if you open the AA dictionary to the word God, it would be blank. It would have no definition. It would be a word with no definition. It would just be a word. And yet we are stuck with doing something with this word. And we actually don't really do anything except the steps. And then as we take the steps, something happens. We begin to have a consciousness of something. Unnamed, but something is happening inside of us. And we call this God consciousness. We can call it word consciousness for all I care. But a consciousness of something is taking place. And when we get to the promises in the ninth step, we see a sentence that says, we suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. This wasn't something that somebody explained to us. It happened to us. It happened inside of us. And we suddenly went, wow, that word is doing something to me. You see how personal that is? There's nobody explaining this event to you. It is simply happening to you. And then in the um, 12 and 12, I just brought this. It's on the last page of the uh, pertinent promises, page 109. Bill writes, you see what we're seeing? We're seeing a process of a person's relationship with that word. And on there, page 109, Bill writes, we could predict that the doubter who still claimed he hadn't got the spiritual angle and who still considered his well-loved AA group his higher power, would presently love God and call him by name. No one told them to do that. No one said, this is going to happen. You just find yourself using the word. And nobody explained what the word means. No one, it just happened. And... I got thinking about that. Wow. How could I summarize what I just told you about? What is this phenomenon? And I looked at it as you're now at the very beginning of your journey in AA. And I would say, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word 
became God. And I just, it just hit me. That's exactly what happened to me. I, I used this word because everybody else was using it. I didn't know what it meant. I just said it. And then I talked about it. And then I said, but no, you know, and all of a sudden, the word itself became real. And that was the transformation that I had. And that, just for lack of a better term, I just called it the God phenomenon. That it happens to everyone here. The steps are designed to cause that to happen. And it happens no matter what our old ideas were when we arrived here. That that's where we end up. And I, I just think it's fascinating when you consider the backgrounds of all the people that come here, that we all end up in the same place. And I think for me, it would have helped if someone had said the term, God as you understand him. Now, we know in the beginning, we go, you can call anything you want, it'll be your higher powers. And the most common one that you hear around the country is doorknob. Well, I made a doorknob by higher power. And, that, and you do hear that, but you don't hear someone with 10 years saying it. Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? I've been sober 10 years, and the doorknob is still my higher power. <laughs> it somehow went from doorknob to God. It somehow went from John Wayne to God. It somehow went from my AA group to God. It's, you know, so you can see that this... But how did it go to God? Did someone convince you that God existed? Did they tell you who he was? Did they do it? No. You experienced something, and you automatically said God. So in a way, in order to understand God in AA, you have to experience God first. So it's sort of God as we experience him. And from the experience comes a very limited understanding, because no one can understand God. He's a mystery. But we know the results that come from this power. And to me, that if you ask me what my definition of God is, it's all the miraculous things that have happened to me since I followed these steps. It's the return of peace of mind. It's to, the power to see all of you as my brothers. It's, it's the power to see the world through God's eyes instead of my eyes. All of that is my definition of my personal relationship with this great mystery that is behind the universe. And I just felt, um, isn't that fascinating? And then as you're sponsoring people, you watch it happen to them. You, you start out with a militant atheist. And you go, that's fine. Just like our chapter of the agnostics said, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Just have an open mind and we'll go chugging along. Oh, okay. So we, blah, blah, blah. And then remember in the third step in the 12 and 12, the one time vice president of the American Atheist Society, boom, had no trouble getting through the hoop. Remember that hoop in step three in the 12 and 12? He had no trouble because it's an infinite diameter. You can come through. And then if you simply keep that open mind, the God phenomenon takes place.